Good morning, everybody. And a pleasant morning to you all. Although you're probably watching this in the evening, so good evening to you all. Got to think about this this, this opening line <coughs> because I'm saying morning because it's my morning, but you could be watching in the evening. Equally, you could be watching in the morning and I'm saying good evening, so we'll take our chances. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good day to you, good day to you. We'll just stick to you. So today I am off into the city of Plymouth. Uh, meeting's at quarter past 11, it's now half past nine. So uh, from where I am in Cornwall um, to Plymouth, there's some rural roads in between and the problem being one accident and the road's blocked for hours so you kind of need to allow plenty of time to get to where you want to be going so um yeah i don't i don't generally disclose what i do for a living obviously and i don't disclose what i um where i go and who i meet with but i do tell you i'm off to places i'm going places do you remember the travel agents called going places it was really funny because at the collapse Okay, it's not funny, but at the collapse of Thomas Cook, I turned around to Mark and I was like, God, do you remember if they had booked me with Lumpolly? <laughs> do you remember Lumpolly? All right, it's a very British 80s thing, Lumpolly. You know, um, it was with the adverts, you know, they used to click and then they used to be like, gone. Like Thanos. We're coming now through sort of an area called the Glyn Valley. And, and, and through this area, there is a very famous Cornish shop. Cornish shop, not Cornish shop, Cornish shop. Cornish owned business called Trago Mills. Now, if you've been to Trago Mills, put a comment below and tell me what's the most random thing you've ever bought from Trago Mills, okay? I will start this off. I once bought a home dentistry set. I would just like to add that I never actually used said home dentistry set, but I bought, you know, the little mirror and the, the thing and the, the, the scrapey thing and the, 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 the kit, the, you know, I bought a whole lot in like a little leather wallet and it was like three pounds. So tell me below, what's the most, oh, actually, another random thing I bought from there, I bought a shell suit. Oh yes, not just any shell suit, but a fluorescent shell suit from there. Uh, admittedly I was only about five, ten years old, so when I say ten, well actually mean it's thirty. Um, no, when I was you know, when I was about ten I remember going to Trago and, and I bought some shell suit. And also I have bought many, many, many a widget and gidget and gizmo and gadget from Trago. Because it's the kind of place you should never go just to have a browse because you'll walk out with a trolley full of stuff that you didn't actually need. And it could be anything from an actor fry, uh, or it could be anything to a George Foreman. So, leave me in the comments below what you bought from Trago Mills. very foggy, misty, murky crossing of the Tamar Bridge. It cost £1.50 to get from Cornwall into Devon across the Tamar Bridge. Um, I heard one day they're going to make it free. I don't know whether that's true or not. So uh, anyway, we're across Tamar now and it wasn't a very exciting crossing for you because you couldn't see anything because it was just so foggy but hey, there we go, you've got a little bit of footage. So we're nearly into Plymouth now, we're nearly to city centre so um, I'll catch up later.
my afternoon or early evening. It's, it's 20 past four in the afternoon and I am just on my way back out of Plymouth. Slightly dishevelled. What a hot old day. So, can't really tell you what I've been doing as per normal. I just simply can't tell you what I've been doing. So that's the end of another busy day. So, just chill out on the sofa now. Kate's pretending to be asleep as you can see. <laughs> and there is Lee cuddling the dog. Good times. So, busy day up to Plymouth today. Um, as you'll see, the crossing, the Tamar Bridge, was really misty this morning. Couldn't see a thing. And on the way back, it was just glorious sunshine. I couldn't see a thing because the sun was in my eyes. But with that being said, tomorrow is another day.